I'm Dr. Lopez, the emergency vet at Twin Trees, and this is Tatiana, our Hello. emergency veterinary technician. And we are trying to keep you guys out of the emergency room for preventable reasons by warning you about the 22 ways that your vehicle could land your pet in the emergency room or worse. We don't like seeing dogs and cats getting injured by vehicles, and all of these are preventable if you know what to watch out for. If you think you can guess all 22 ways, please leave them in the comments. Getting started with number one. Before you even get in your car, there are some hidden dangers under the hood of your vehicle. Anybody have a guess? On a cold morning with fall just around the corner, you should knock on the hood of your car. Little animals, like cats and squirrels, like to hide under the hood to get warm, and sometimes if you're not careful, they can become entangled in a little piece of equipment called the fan belt or the serpentine belt. That's a horrible trauma. I've seen it too many times. I hope I never see it again. So please make sure that no animals are stuck in the fan belt. And number two, this stuff is a poison, a very dangerous and lethal poison. See that? It's not a joke. This is the green stuff that goes in your radiator. It's also called antifreeze engine coolant ethylene glycol it only takes a couple of licks of this to kill a pet even wildlife so if you spill this make sure that you clean it up properly soaking it in some cat litter to scoop it up and dispose of it properly so that nobody can drink it it has a sweet taste it's like green gatorade for cats and dogs they don't know the difference if they drink this they can die if you think that your pet has drank this take them to the emergency room right away do not wait too long time is of the essence i'm just gonna pour it out so you can see it if there's a green puddle looking like this under your car that is an accident waiting to happen moving on to number three before you even get in the car make sure there's nobody sleeping under the tires on a hot day this is too common i've seen this more than once on a single hot day owners backing over their own dog in the driveway because they were sleeping there in the shade this usually happens to old dogs because they can't hear very well and they don't even hear the car start up so always check under your car to make sure that nobody is sleeping under a wheel before you back out of your driveway. Whenever you back out of your driveway, just as a general rule, roll down your window, go slow, look behind you. In this parking lot across the street the other day, I saw a little boy almost get run over by a guy that was backing up too fast with the window closed, music on, a uh, little boy about this big. So, you know, it's not just dogs, it's little kids too. I haven't seen this one, but some, some of my colleagues have. Some wheels have something called the wheel well, and sometimes little critters will hide in there also. So it's always just a good idea before you back out, before you start up your car, make a little bit of noise, check around, take a quick look. Two seconds, an ounce of prevention is a pound of care. Moving on to number five. This is what happens when you come home a little bit too fast. Everybody's always in a hurry to get home. Dads, I'm talking to you, all the dads out there. For some reason, this is a dad problem. Dad's coming in hot. So a lot of dogs get hit in their own driveways with their parents driving home too fast. The dogs get excited to see them, get too close to the car. It's not a good way to end a day if you've had a long day and you're just in a hurry to get home either having to go to the emergency room to get your dog all fixed up or having to dig a grave before the kids get home. I've been there. So everybody just take a deep breath as you're rolling into the driveway. If your dog comes running at you, slow down, roll down the window, make sure they don't get too close. There's actually some dangers while you're driving. So we're gonna go ahead and hop in the car, try not to get hit here. People are supposed to be driving slow around here, but they don't. Okay, so while you're driving, we're gonna move on to numbers six seven and eight go ahead and leave your guesses in the comments we want to know if you can guess them all right so while you're driving there's a couple ways that your dog can get injured and end up in the emergency room we've seen it all those automatic windows when your dog has its head out the window <laughs> yep you can you can actually if you're not careful and not paying attention you can accidentally roll them up in the window yeah <laughs> so just be careful those of you with automatic windows don't roll them up too fast number seven dogs jumping out of the window while the car is in motion because we need them in a second. <laughs> okay <laughs> one of my patients not to mention any names but birdie has actually done this twice jumped out the window while the owner was driving and got hit by oncoming traffic twice <laughs> so make sure that your windows are rolled up sufficiently that your dog cannot jump out of the window yes this one's a little bit less common but it definitely happens Nobody wants a traumatic brain injury from driving along, owner hits the brakes too fast, boom, hits the windshield. Oh, I guess you're getting treated for head trauma and you cracked my windshield. <laughs> Just be careful. If you have to hit the brakes, hit the brakes, but there are lots of little dog seatbelts out there. Make sure that your pet is properly restrained. We see a fair number of pets hitting the windshield when uh, people hit the brakes too hard. They can mess up their face pretty bad and get other types of injuries to their head and neck as well. All right, I've actually never seen this one, but I thought I'd put it on the list. This is only one of two things on the list I've never seen in the emergency room. With dogs having their head out the window, I know some other people who've seen this, they can have objects fly into their eye, end up in the emergency room that way. It's not that common, but it does happen. All right, you can actually slam your dog in the car door. I have seen 
in this. One yeah. of the worst traumatic brain injuries I ever saw, a little tiny poodle getting slammed in the car door. So just be extra careful with that. Remember, if you're a small dog, your skull is like an eggshell. With the car door, it's a danger too. Having your pet escape while you're trying to get out of the car. That happens all the time. They can get hit by oncoming traffic. They can get lost. Make sure that when you are around your car, getting in and out of it, and when you're driving, your pet is properly secured and that they have all of their identifying tags on them. So your phone number, their name, a microchip is a good backup, but it's much better to just have your pet's phone number directly on them so that they don't get lost, injured, or worse, never see them again. Even if you're just running into the store for a couple minutes, sometimes even the gas station, when you leave your pets in the vehicle, they can get into mischief and some really, really, really bad things can happen. So we just want to warn you about some of those so that you don't end up in our emergency room for these reasons. While you're in the store leaving your pet unattended, there are some major dangers that can await while your back is turned. Dogs can get into some mischief in the car, getting into things like your purse or the groceries. Let's see what happened here. Oh no. <laughs> Don't get into your purse. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me see. Is he gonna be okay? Let's see what he got into. What is it? Sugar free gum? Don't you know this is a poison? Yep, that's right. The ingredient in sugar free gum starts with an X. That is called xylitol. That is a poison. They can end up in the emergency room for that. It can cause liver failure. So be extra careful with sugar free gum. Sometimes all of the dogs in the car eat the sugar free gum and then you have three emergency vet bills so be extra careful sugar-free gum is a poison about all of your medications and drugs really should never be left unattended near your pet even at home these medications over-the-counter medications like tylenol that looks like candy to dogs they can die from eating this advil do you know how many dogs eat entire bottles of advil and end up in the emergency room it happens all the time keep all of your medications safely secured out of reach of pets and children they can't tell the difference between this and they're little kibbles. They just want to eat it. They know you take it. It must taste good. Grandma, grandpa, make sure if you're driving them somewhere to the pharmacy to get their medications refilled, keep these also out of reach of the pets. We don't need any heart medication overdoses in our emergency room. <laughs> those are very scary. Let's see what else we have in here. Antihistamines and non-drowsy antihistamines, those have dangerous uppers. You can have cardiac arrhythmias and seizures, even just from non-drowsy antihistamines. Also goes for recreational drugs. We see lots and lots of dogs coming to the emergency room for ingesting recreational drugs. It's actually one of the most common emergencies that we see here in Whistler. Your groceries and snacks are definitely not safe, so never leave those unattended in your vehicle. Some foods are poisons. What happened here? Oh my gosh, this is a crime scene. 90 grams of 85% dark chocolate. Oh, no. It's gonna die. Yeah. Chocolate, grapes. Grapes are poisonous to dogs. They can cause kidney failure. They are delicious. Dogs can't have them. You never know who will end up with kidney failure from eating grapes. Same thing goes for raisins. Don't leave this stuff in your car with your dog. Potato chips are not poisonous but the bag is very dangerous. Dogs can suffocate in plastic bags from trying to eat popcorn, snacks, their own dog food, potato chips. Be very, very careful, even in your home. Always cut your plastic bags into small pieces before discarding them and never leave these out. We see this too often. It's way too common. Suffocation in plastic bags, it happens all the time. It's always too late to save them by the time they get to us. Still more dangerous in the grocery bag. Dog food is not a poison, but you can overdose on dog food and end up in the emergency room. Some dogs, while their owners are in the grocery store, especially if you have a lab, they will eat their entire bag of dog food that you just purchased and will have to get their stomach pumped. So be extra careful with your snacks and groceries. Some are poisonous, some have other hazards like suffocation. Even dog food can cause a problem if you are a lab and you eat <laughs> the whole thing. It's kind of embarrassing that we have to warn people about this, but yes, there are dogs that will eat their entire bag of dog food. Comment below if this has happened to you and you've had to learn the hard way. All right, so when you leave your dog unattended in your vehicle, and I can't say how many dogs I've had actually die from this, but multiple brought in DOA, some that were able to be saved after quite a lot involved, is the temperature, especially, especially too hot. If you live in a warm climate, sometimes even it's not that hot outside, but your vehicle can heat up really fast. Don't leave your pet unattended on a hot day. They can get heat stroke, especially brachycephalic breeds. Those are the breeds that have little squished faces like bulldogs, French bulldogs, English bulldogs, boxers, pugs. This also goes for truck owners too. If you have one of those trucks that has the camper shell in the back, 
just because it's not technically inside the car that is actually dangerous as well there was a dog walker in vancouver a few years ago that left a whole bunch of dogs in the back of the shell of the truck and at least half a dozen dogs died from yeah. heat stroke so if it's even remotely warm outside just don't risk it it's not worth it you don't want to find out that way too cold use your best judgment on that one if you have a short haired dog just put yourself in that situation would you be willing to be sitting in your freezing cold car uh -huh. without a jacket for however long if it's two minutes you know it's much better to learn from somebody else's bad experiences and unfortunately working in the emergency room i've had to be a part of many of these bad experiences and to be honest uh, many of them were not savable so we just thought the best way to save these guys would be to prevent the situation from happening altogether. So that's what we're trying to do. Not that we don't like working in the emergency room, but hey, if we can avoid having to see little pets suffering yeah. in horrible ways, we might as well just let you guys know. All right. Now, even if it's not too hot and not too cold, this is another danger that you're leaving your pet unattended can lead to. Sometimes there are just crazy vigilantes coming by, they see a dog in a car, they think it's wrong, boom, they break your window, they take off with your dog, you never see it again. You've been warned, it happens. So that's number 19, just having your dog stolen out of the back of your car. We're gonna move on to some truck specific reasons right now. This is for all you pickup truck owners, like, uh, like that guy right there. Okay, if you have one of those, pay extra close attention to the following three ways that your dog could end up in the emergency room from your vehicle. Cell phone and games until your pet ends up in the emergency room and we have to deal with it. So let's just keep everybody safe out there and let's try not to have any of this happen. Although I'm sure at any given time, anywhere in the country, there are dogs being brought into the emergency room for all of these 22 reasons. <laughs> Thank God we are not having to deal with this right now in our emergency room. We're just warning you guys. All right, so if you have a pickup truck, some special reminders. We already talked about overheating and we talked about dogs jumping out of the car, like the front of the car while you're driving. But dog jumping out of the back of the truck is just as dangerous. This happens all the time. It's probably one of the more common reasons reasons for dogs to end up being surrendered to our animal shelter here in Whistler is their puppies jump out of the back of the truck, break their legs, get a bunch of injuries, and the owners can't afford to get them treatment to get them fixed. You can check out the animal shelter surrender page and all their fundraisers and there are a whole lot of femur fracture repairs on that list. So jumping out of the back of the truck or worse. And here's where we come to our last two reasons, number 21 and 22, being tied up in the back of the truck bed and jumping out while the vehicle is driving and getting dragged from behind the truck. I have seen that. I hope to never see that again. So please be very careful. Do not tie your dogs up in such a way that they could jump out of the truck and get dragged behind it. And finally, number 22, I am sorry that I have to tell you guys that this actually does happen. It is horrible. One of the most horrible things, one of the most horrible yeah. type of emergencies we ever see is, uh, Bill here is gonna help us. <laughs> Luckily he's our CPR model as well, so we can resuscitate him later. <laughs> But um, yeah, getting <clears throat> tied up to the trailer hitch, to the back of the truck, while people are camping, having a great day, mountain biking, whatever. Everyone loads up, ready to go after a long day, tired, wanting to go home and completely forget about Bill tied up to the back of the truck, drive away while he is tied there and drag him all the way home. <laughs> That's number 22. Um, thank you so much for joining yes, me and you. Tatiana here in the best place on earth, Whistler, British Columbia so that we could warn you guys about all 22 of these ways that your vehicle could lend your pet in the emergency room or worse. Everybody stay safe out there. Remember, your pets are toddlers and they are not safe around vehicles without very careful, close adult supervision. Protect them from all of these dangers that they love to get into. Things like poisons, groceries, foods, plastic bags, antifreeze, and other mechanical dangers in and around your vehicle. Thank you for being our subscribers and followers and always commenting and let us know what other information you would like for us to share with you. Yeah. Tatiana, anything to add? <laughs> Double check your car when you're getting in it and driving around yeah. and be extra careful because yeah. Driving in dogs, and out of your driveway. Yeah, dogs are like toddlers. <laughs> you can't be trusted with anything. So yeah. be extra careful. Oh, convertibles, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> There's one. Rob works with us. Uh, his dog jumped out of a convertible once, not to throw him under the bus or anything, but she hated buses. She jumped out of the convertible on Lionsgate Bridge once to attack a bus, got hit by it, and lived. I don't know why they don't understand not to jump out while you're driving. I've seen it one dog twice. So Didn't many. learn his lesson. Yeah, back of the truck <clears throat> is a really bad one. Driving in and out of the driveway, dads, all you dads out there, okay? Just go slow. Yeah, it, you know, even if your dog doesn't die, do you want to hear your three-year-old every single time you come home? Don't run over Lola, daddy. Okay, <laughs> for the rest of your life. I don't think you want to hear that. So no. just drive slow, roll down your window. Try not to run over anybody's pets and children. Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> no, no emergency workers want to see that. It's just, I mean, it's just not a good day. All no. right, everybody stay safe. Thank you so much for joining us. Cool. If we'll talk to you later. Yes. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, and if we missed one, comment. Make sure you let us know and we'll add it, okay? We don't want to miss anything, but you know, at the end of the day, we haven't, we probably haven't seen every way yeah out there there's there's always a new way there's always coming. a new way there's always a new way i some of these until i saw them i didn't even know that could happen wish i didn't have to find out okay all right goodbye from whistler and Bye. we love you guys we'll talk to you later bye